Hey guys, this is Jam of Jamonline.ph and welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna unbox and take a closer look at the Vivo Y20 SG. So this smartphone is made for gaming and yet of course this one is affordable. So why is it made for gaming? Well first we got here the Helio G80 processor which we all know that the G series of MediaTek are made really for gaming. Of course we got here the 6.51 inch display with an HD plus resolution, a 6 gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of internal storage as you can see in here. We also got here 5 thousand milliamp hours of battery 18 watts fast charging we also got your triple lens camera with a 13 megapixel main camera an 8 megapixel front facing camera and of course this one runs on fun touch 11 with uh, android 11 so uh, we're gonna take a closer look at this smartphone so what are we waiting for let's unbox and let's take a closer look at the vivo y20 sg so you're looking at the box of the vivo y20 sg again 6 gigs of ram 128 gigs of internal storage time to unbox this one Of course, we got here the papers and the pin for the card tray. We got here the smartphone and it looks damn beautiful to me. We got here the jelly case, the 18 watts fast charger, and then there's the micro USB to USB-A cable. Alright, so we got here the Vivo Y20 SG. So as you can see in here at the back of the smartphone, you can see in here that we got here like a frosted look. So this one is made up of plastic, but this one feels premium. Actually, some people might think this one is glass, but I believe it's not. But yeah, uh, the main thing in here is that we got here the frosted look. So the fingerprints doesn't look um, nakitang kita dito sa smartphone na to. Of course, we got here uh, the camera module over here. So as you can see in here, meron tayong konti angat sa camera module. And the back does reflect directly to the camera module. So yung effect niya is naka-focus dun sa kanyang camera. Which is good for me. I believe the design of this one is really great. I actually like the design of the Vivo Y20 SG. So as you can see in here, um, the sides, we got here the plastic sides. Yes, that's plastic. This one is um, flat na back. So I highly suggest that you use the included jelly case on the smartphone so my uh, camera is having a hard time focusing on the uh, uh, the smartphone so I'm gonna press one of the focus there we go so as you can see in here we got here the plastic sides um, the power button also serves as the fingerprint scanner and there's the volume rocker which is actually good I, I actually prefer na ganto yung look na atin uh, sa smartphone the fingerprint uh, scanner on the side and of course the volume rocker over here Alright, so as you can see in here, we got here the lock screen. The lock screen does look pretty uh, cool to me. And of course, we got here the Fun Touch OS 11 based on Android 11. So as you can see in here, we got here the selfie camera. We still got here the notch. It's not a punch hole camera. That's fine with me. Of course, we got here the bezel dito sa baba. And below the smartphone, we can actually see that uh, we're using micro USB still on this one along with the speaker grill and the headphone jack. On the other side, of course, we got here the uh, micro SD card tray and also the SIM cards that you can dito. So as you can see in here, the display of the smartphone is a 6.51 inch display, just the right size for me sa isang smartphone. We also got here the HD plus resolution, it's an IPS display. So the colors aren't the best one that I've seen on the display but the, the size is just fine with me and the viewing angles are just okay para sa akin. Of course, we can turn up the graphics at uh, the brightness if you want to have a brighter na display but I actually prefer na nasa mid lang tayo dito on the, uh, on the uh, Vivo Y20 SG. Alright, so you've seen the hardware, you've seen everything. Now, how about the software of the smartphone? So as you can see in here, this one is running on Funtouch OS. Uh, swiping to the right, we'll see here the, of course, the cards and everything. Uh, you can see here the links, the news from Google. Of course, uh, on the home screen, you can see in here the applications. Uh, we also got here the app drawer by swiping up. As you can see in here, we got here a lot of pre-installed applications on the Vivo Y20 SG. Of course, we got here the Lazada application. We got here the Likey or what the what is this actually? Like video. Okay, so for um, I believe this one is for creating videos. This one is really interesting. Na meron sila mga included na applications like this one. And of course, we got here uh, some useful applications like the i Manager, Ayan FM Radio, the Game Center. So probably you don't need those applications, but some of them are useful, like the V App Store, in case you know. Uh, kailangan nyo mag-download na apps uh, na outside the Play Store. We got your notes, the iManager. So everything that you need, including EasyShare so you can transfer 
files, large files to other smartphones sa may easy share or support din ito um, na mas mabilis. Personally, I do like the software that we're getting in here. I mean, it's better than before. The Funtouch OS is less cluttered, mas malinis siya, mas mabilis. It's really responsive uh, in my opinion. So, uh, you've seen everything, Teams, I'm your manager. I mean, you've seen the applications that comes uh, with this smartphone. Now, how about the camera? So, Vivo smartphones are known for their camera, but for the Vivo Y20SG, they focus uh, on the Helio G80, Octa-Core processor, and also the 6 gigs of RAM. If you ask me, that is a pretty good combination for gaming, G80 and 6 gigs of RAM. That is really interesting. But for the camera, as you can see in here, we got here the panorama mode, the portrait mode, photo, video, and uh, more. So, uh, medyo kompleto naman tayo dito uh, when, if you ask me pagdating sa kanyang uh, features. Of course, when you take video, you can record at up to a 1080p. Unfortunately, there's no 2K or 4K on this one. So, the Helio G80 can only handle up to 1080p, but that's fine as long as it's not 720. Alright, so you've seen uh, the features. Now, check out some of the shots that I took using the... Uh, Vivo Y20SG. So there you go, you've seen the shots that I took uh, using the uh, Vivo Y20SG. It's not the best one that I've seen, especially for a Vivo smartphone. So they really focus on sa mga other hardware nila like the uh, processor, which isn't that bad. Uh, I mean, yes, the smartphone can shoot some uh, photos, but it's not the best one that we have seen. I mean, it's a triple lens camera. It can shoot photos. Yes, it can record videos, but it's not the best one na meron tayo sa smartphone na to or sa brand na Vivo. So I guess that's it dito sa ating unboxing and hands-on of the uh, Vivo Y20SG. I know the name is kind of long. They should just name it as the Vivo Y20G. G for gaming. But yeah, we're talking about here a smartphone with a really nice design and I really applaud the design of this one. I mean, we got here the frosted look, the frosted back look of the smartphone with the reflection pointing to the camera. And as you can see in here, it doesn't have a big bulge for getting to the camera part. And as for the features inside, we got here Helio uh, G80 processor, which is made for gaming. So that's a plus for me, 6 gigs of RAM, cool. Then 128 gigs of internal storage, which is probably more than enough for most people who wants to play games. I mean, ilam, ano ba naman yung mga sizes ng games available ngayon sa Play Store, right? Of course, um, there are a lot of things to praise about uh, when it comes to hardware, but uh, the smartphone still uses a micro USB, although it comes with an 18 watt charger, and uh, the smartphone, well, doesn't have the best camera even for its price range. But yeah, this one is made for gaming, so you got to focus for gaming. It's a Helio G80, 6 gigs of RAM, and 128 gigs of internal storage. So yeah, guess that's it dito sa unboxing hands on natin of uh, the Vivo Y20SG. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to click that subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified of our latest videos here dito sa aking YouTube channel. So once again, I am Jam of Jam 19. Teach. Thank you for watching and see you guys again in my next video.